Come on, get up. What's your name? What's your name? <clears throat> Mister? It's Eduardo. Why? Bingo. You're Anita's contact, right? How come you know so much? <laughs> she left a message on her card. We're just unlucky that way. Do you know what's happened to Link? I'm totally confused. Yep. Link is a living, self-replicating organism. What? Originally, it served as an advisor to the council. But it has gradually taken control. Okay. How? And why? Yeah. We're really not sure. Hobart scientists have developed a virus. Aha! Uh -huh. It will check Link's growth. The plot thickens. If we can get it into the system. Will you give me the virus? I can't. It's been downloaded to Link Space. Hmm. Anita was supposed to retrieve it. Since she had a Shreedman port. Won't that be so uploaded? I. <clears throat> I owe it to Anita to get that virus. No chance. It's bound to be guarded. I can try at least. By a crusader? Perhaps? Huh. Excuse me. See you later. Well, okay then. So he doesn't really give us much information on what to do. Let's just explore this area a bit more. Um, I don't know about you, but I'd like to see St. James the Pub. Or whatever. The club, I suppose, not the pub. What is it What is it like, really? Oh, the door to the courthouse is open. Let's prioritize that, I think. Hmm. Silence in court! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Security Services, Department of Justice, Inc. <laughs> Judge Chutney presiding. Interesting. Court is now in session. Silence! I recognize that villain. An habitual criminal, if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first contestant? Defendant, my lord. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. Howard Hobbins, come on up. Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on, then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Bah! Monstrous! Off with his head! Just a flippin' minute! Who's defending me? Defence? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. On my soul, whatever next? Who'd be silly enough to defend this wretch? Very well. Let's get on with round one. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt! Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Ah, oh, that's him in the overall. I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cat? Uh, we haven't heard the defence, my lord. Uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Now then, Officer Blunt, what was the nature of your injuries? I got very wet. 
but you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. Hold it! Tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway hubbub. Hold it! So, you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. But I'd recognize his laugh anywhere. Hold it! Just how well do you know Hobbins? I've never met him before. And yet you say you recognized his laughter. Uh, I don't know. Hold it! Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points for a well-timed interruption. So who did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Piermont. What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions. But he still hasn't confessed. Objection! Four interrogations suggest harassment. Objection, my lord. Officer Blunt is not the subject of this trial. Quite correct. Objection sustained. Ten points to the prosecution. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, men, what's wrong? Um, repetition, my lord. Objection overruled. Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable. And overloaded the steam release in the power station. That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? Huh. I'd nearly wet me pants. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the bonus round. The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Objection! I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. Silence! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. Howard Hobbit, you've won tonight's star prize. Big American party! Yay! Everybody disco dancing! Lots of fun, good time for all! I'm having very good time! Robot dancing? Oh no! Please! Life imprisonment! However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Two hours community service. Court dismissed. What the fuck just happened?